Hello YouTubers, Emmy Technoid here, and Happy New Year! This is January 1st, 2020, and this is the first video I'm making for the new year. And I'm pretty excited about this one because what we have in front of me here is my Kava M1.0T. And what makes this amplifier so special is that this is the amplifier that Bob Carver designed for the competition that was to be the, uh, I don't know, uh, milestone in one of his points in his career. He, he made an amplifier, a transistor amplifier, sound exactly like a tube amplifier. And it was a competition. It was more of a, you know, a throwdown kind of thing. And uh, I've got the link to the article uh, from the Stereophile magazine that put up the, uh, the challenge. It was the challenge. And, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting read. So, uh, yeah, you can go to that and read the whole thing. But in the end, spoiler alert, Kava did achieve the goal. He did it. He made a transistor amplifier sound exactly like a tube amplifier. And this tube amplifier wasn't just any old tube amplifier. This was a reference model that the magazine got to pick. So Kava had his work cut out for him, but he achieved. Anyway, this is my M1.0T. And this guy is famous in my realm because this is the one I bought. I bought it brand new. This was mine from the beginning and I've had it for this many years. I believe it was uh, 1992 when I first bought this guy. It was uh, a local stereo shop here in Anchorage, uh, Pyramid Audio. Uh, they were the local Carva dealers and, and I got this guy from them. And uh, throughout the years it served me well until one time it, uh, it started acting up. And this uh, particular amplifier is noted for its problem with the what they call the turn-off thump. The turn-off thump really is a nasty thing. And what it did, it uh, let me get this guy down here. It uh, basically sh made this turn into an open. This is a, a, a mid-range driver, and it popped this guy. Uh, you put a meter across the voice call, it is open. Okay, and this one's been torn apart because I removed the voice call to, to look at it to see how badly it was burnt. And it was charred good. But uh, yeah, here's one, here's what one looks like that isn't torn apart. But yeah, this one's just as dead. I went through two of them before I decided to dismantle this amplifier and say, yeah, this is too risky. It's going to keep on popping speakers. But then I found out online, there's a place in Michigan Michigan, Hersey, Michigan, that's called Nellion Audio. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's either Nellion or Nelion. But uh, yeah, they are a Carver uh, repair center and they do work on Carver and they also do upgrades and mods and modifications and all that good stuff. And this particular one is the, the amp that I sent in to have modified and upgraded. Okay, and now it is a Carver Mark II, Option II. And that just bumps everything up a, to like a quantum leap. So uh, yeah, it, with this amplifier, when it was stock off the shelf, it was 200 watts RMS into 8 ohms. Now with the modification and the upgrade, it's 460 watts into 8 ohms. Right off, right off the bat. It's that, got that much more power. And uh, plus there are other upgrades that I, I selected. I'm going to show up some pictures. Yeah, I'm going to throw them up some pictures. Because the first thing I did when I got it back was uh, I opened it up to look for the signature board that Nellion puts in for the capacitors, the power supplies. And uh, as I'm scrolling through these pictures that I'm showing you now, you'll see. But yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do with this amp, this amp has a, it has a, I've got a plan for this amp. I'm going to use it in the front room, in the, uh, the living room man cave, and I'm going to replace the 2502 with this Kava, okay? But see, what I've got to do, what I've got to do to replace the 2502 is, since the 2502 has digital signal processing built in, it can be processed to, uh, to be a, a crossover point. Uh, so you don't need a uh, electronic crossover to cross over. But with this guy, there is no crossover. There's no digital signal processing. So what I've got to do is I've got to come up with an electronic crossover. And the electronic crossover that I'm going to put into uh, work for this amp 
is my DBX 234S. And you see, I said, I've got it mounted on top here. I just saw it sitting on top of the amp. But yeah, that's going to go into the front room rack. And I will be using it to uh, send the signals from the Wolfa amp to the, the main speakers, which are going to be powered by this carbon. But uh, yeah, look forward to that video coming up here shortly, uh, in a week maybe. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you this new Kava M1.0T that I got. And I am so happy with it now. I'm going. I'm anxious to have it hooked up and listened to. So until next time, Hammy Technoid says, see you later.